Hey everyone, Dave here, and today we'll be checking out the Aftershocks update to Sign and Sinners. It is already a tradition with Skybound that they delay whatever they are working on, whether it's just new content update or whatever. They just love to take their time developing things, but it's always worth the wait at the end of the day. So Aftershocks was actually announced at the last gaming showcase that Oculus did. Its base premise is to extend the end game content that did not really exist before, because when you would complete the main campaign, the only thing left in the game would be just collect recipes for some pretty sick gear that would make the game so much pleasant to play and was basically treated as a side thing you'd search for when you were trying to get to the reserve and resolve the never-ending conflict between the tower and the reclaimed. The update claims that this whole patch would round up about 20 hours of an additional game time which is kinda bold to me, I mean Aftershocks will be mostly about new collectibles, tools, weaponry, whatever you'll be able to craft but aside from that they say they're gonna have some new missions to fulfill. I really doubt it's gonna be like a second campaign though I would be very much surprised because not only the update comes for free everything else aside from the base game was just given to us like that I honestly would throw money for more content in terms of the storyline or even just DLCs like this is one of the top tier experiences in VR we have currently maybe the developers are working on the second title because I would just milk it as much as possible but coming back to Aftershocks update I want to mention a few things from me personally so due to the incompetence of Oculus as always like since I started of my VR career, I've been just repairing problems that this company and its software causes. The situation is that we've completed the game almost twice now. I don't have it installed on my headset currently, and it happens with many games nowadays because I have to have a space for recordings and stuff like that, you know. Having a game 20 gigabytes or something laying around would be pretty impossible to function in the long run. So recently, or I don't even know, maybe a few months already, Oculus is having like cloud saving system issues or pretty much it's broken, automatically meaning that my cell files were wiped out from this planet. Like I'm so shocked that something went wrong, huh? Because the update needs the end game content to run and I would have to play the game for the third time, that is just impossible for me nowadays. Instead, to check out the update, I downloaded some random save file from the internet that someone provided with the game completed and on that we're gonna be able to play. I can't really consider it cheating because I've completed the game multiple times with different endings so at the same time it's just saving my time to do other recordings that needs my attention currently. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one in this situation whether it's with youtubers or some casual players because who knew that oculus would screw up that badly i mean at this point that's kind of normal nowadays but all in all i tested already everything it is what it is too bad i'm not gonna be playing on my side file that i basically murdered everyone so maybe i would have something different going on in the game but i'm glad that i managed let's come back to kill some zombies it says to access Aftershocks you have to complete the story. Developers actually written in the patch notes that there's gonna be like an option for people who can't be bothered to play through the game again or maybe they lost their save files. There's gonna be like an access to Aftershocks not including the main campaign to participate so I'm not totally surprised by this response because Skydance is very responsive with the community so love that. But let's go back to the save file that it's not mine. <laughs> okay, well. AJ, where the fuck are you man? My legs, my, my fucking legs. You gotta find me. I can't. I, 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 I can't even look at them. Don't have much left. Oh Jesus! The cash is here in Dana's auto shop, like you said. We scored. The reclaimed. I fucked them up good, but it cost me, man. Please. You, you have to find me. Save me. I, I, I can't hold on for long. Fucking hurry, man. Bleeding out. God damn it. Should have memorized that fucking map in the lumberyard office better. I don't want to die, man. Please come get me. Not much time left. That is so interesting. And the lantern is lit up. What? What's happening? The voice in the radio said something about new cash of supplies from the reserve. So we have to go to the bywater and search for this dude. <coughs> wow. Maybe it is actually like a next campaign. So what do we have here? Just the whole arsenal? <laughs> oh, I'm glad that I'm playing on a safe file that apparently was from a psychopath. So I feel just right at home. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna just scrap a lot of things that we have now and then mimic my actual equipment that I used in my actual campaign. So give me a few minutes, I will go back to the buy water. Okay. We have some basic stuff, but I think we're gonna be fine. So, he said buy water, right? I wonder, like, reserve was such a crazy place in terms of just the supplies and stuff. So, let's go. Ah, welcome back. <laughs> I have half HP. Wait, what is this tripwire? Okay, good for me. <laughs> I don't know, where do I head? He said something about lumber yard. Just straight up and then all right. Oh, there are people. I wonder what was the ending that the guy chose because mine, I murdered everyone. So I don't know if they're like nice or not. <coughs> hey. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> Apparently I'm just fucked up. <laughs> There's so many people here. What? Search the lumber yard office for clues. It was here, I remember. This is the office though, so it's like nothing here. This is the place, but it's just filled with I think it's the tower. I wonder if they will do something if I'll just Oh, Okay, well, I'm not gonna survive the actual encounter, so I have to sneak around. Oh my god. Shit! Well, I guess I wanted action. <laughs> How do I even fight with this? I don't think I've ever used this gun. Okay. <laughs> ah, just trust in knife, as always. No one help me. I'm not the best in those weapons. I much rather prefer meta. Yes, Houdini. Well, I guess I'll just snipe them. <laughs> they don't care. I mean, maybe because I'm playing on the story of difficulty. Like, I can't be bothered with the standard one. Shit. Reload. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me just do the classic. Like, I'm an archer, so... Adios. Your friend is dead. Oh. You're nicely placed there. <laughs> Hello. One. No one. <sighs> it is so dark here, what the hell. I guess quest version was like much lighter, I remember. In terms of just the shadows, so that's fair. I guess this is the day 20, so like there's not much supplies running around. So that's why we have like Aftershocks update to just supplement that. Search the auto body shop for the cash. Normally I would have, you know, a photo to help with the tracking, but I don't think this time is gonna be a thing. We're here. Oh, hell yeah. But I don't have the key. <laughs> that sucks. Thieves. We cleared out the last few reclaimed that were left. But I got some bad news. The savages had the presence of mind to walk off with the key to this cache. Shep followed the freak with the key into the cannery. Got his legs blown off for the trouble. Poor fucker. The whole thing is wired to blow. Like that crazy setup we defused at Hotel Eclair. You know, in the French Quarter. Much sloppier, but the same principle. Reclaim set us up good this time, but she can't last long in there. We'll smoke her out. 
AJ. I hope I'm not like, you know, missing the key here, but I'm pretty sure I have to find it. It's hard to tell if one of the guards will have the key or I have to still like yet to find it or I missed it. Like that is highly probable at this point because it's just like a small thing. So it's like easily missable. Now thing happens, boys. Just fucking go. <laughs> you know, you big. Hmm. I wonder what's here. <laughs> I don't even like the way you what the hell is that? Wait. Got it. Fucking let's go to the cash. How do my way, bitch? This is not this key? To what it goes? Boy, say don't can a key. What? No, I was so sure. Now I literally have no clue. I mean, canary is this place. No, stop it. <laughs> you big have a helmet. Blocking. <laughs> Your colleagues died as well. I want clean way. To my key. Tourist is an Islam right now. This is the key to here. Wait, what? Oh my god. Do I just climb? Yes, okay. Hello. Oh wow. <laughs> well, you were not lucky, my dude. Is it the key to cash? Military case key. Yes. And before I get bamboozled. Hell yeah. Woo! I'm taking everything. This is huge. I mean, it seems like it's mostly food cash. It means that every cash or like the crate we will find is gonna be full of specific content. Whether it's gonna be ammo or just like, you know, certain stuff. Listen to the radio session in the morning to see if the tower has found a new, new, more new catches. We're off. <laughs> that went better than expected. <laughs> Thank God for the safe file. I do wonder what's up with this lantern though. Normally it would be like a start of a new mission in the campaign. So let me check that because that's actually interesting. It should be normally here, right? Why is it lit up though? Maybe it just means that we have something in our book, but kind of weird. Reclaim, Reclaim patrol spotted. Memorial Lane. It is gonna be just that to searching for like a big crates as caches that we did in the campaign and then have additional supplies a la the reserve thing because there it was just packed at this seems to be very similar just very specific content we're getting. I mean I love this for a free update more game time like normally after the campaign we would just run around collecting recipes and stuff like that. Here you actually can survive much longer because the supplies dwindle every day you spend in New Orleans but this kind of prolongs the inevitable which is death. <laughs> I mean that's walking dead. I don't think I've missed anything. There doesn't seem to be like new weapons or like new gear. It's just those crates scattered around the town, which is more than enough to occupy yourself, you know. Ooh, good to be back.